Hey, and welcome to another video on our IPPoE video intercom series. So in today's video, we have a, a door station set up with a name tag module, and we have three screens. But again, we're, we're gonna be setting up the three screens a bit differently. Uh, we're gonna have one screen for one flat and two screens for a second flat. So two separate flats, households, um, but they've got a different setup. So we're gonna have one, just one screen. One is gonna be set up as an extension to the main screen. So a little bit tricky, uh, and, and we have covered these topics, but we haven't done this exact scenario. So we're gonna quickly show you a setup in live view, and then go flip over to IVMS and show you how to set up there. All right, catch you guys. Okay, so you see our setup here. Uh, we have our switch connected to the internet via the yellow cable, three screens and one door station. And our door station is connected to a name tag module, and we have two flats in here. So we have flat number one, one screen, and flat number two is gonna have two screens ringing. Okay, pretty, pretty straightforward setup. No, nothing's working right now. Calling failed. Okay, so Calling failed. I'm gonna flip over to IVMS, show you how to set this setup uh, up uh, on the computer. All right. Okay, so this is our little setup we have here on IVMS. So if you're not sure how to get the devices online, recommend you check out videos two and three. There's a link below, and it just shows you how to quickly activate the devices and and this is how our usual setup, we start off with uh, no settings at all, apart from just the basic, you know, time and IP addresses and things like that. Okay, uh, all right, so here we are, we've got one door station, we've got flat one, screen one, flat two, screen one, and flat two, screen two. Okay, so first of all, as usual, we set up our door station. Okay, so go to intercom and just put in the password. Okay, save. And then we've got flat one, screen one. Okay, so it's very similar to the videos we've done, it's just combining two basically into one. Um, okay, we go to network, group network settings. Okay, so this is room number one, flat number one for room number one. Put in the password and the main door station IP, which you get from up here. Okay, so we go save. So that's flat one done. Now we go to flat two. We do the same, we just make it a flat two. So group network settings, room, means flat two. Password, same as normal. The same IP address again for the door station. Okay, so that's our two flat setup, but now we need to set up the extension on flat two. Because uh, this lucky user has got two screens, so we go to here to find out the information. So the information we're going to need is here. Okay, plus we're going to need the serial number, which you can get underneath from underneath the the monitor. Okay, so we just take um, the gateway, for example, say so copy that, and we need to put this information into the flat uh, into the screen one, the main screen from flat two. So we go to intercom extension, and we're going to add flat two as the extension. Okay, so the serial number, you get that from underneath the panel. Okay, the gateway I say from before. The IP address you get from here, so flat two, screen two, you see it, here's the IP address. Okay, subnet mask. Password. And screen number one, just in case they have maybe five screens, but this they only got one extension, so we're just gonna do screen number one, and we go save. Okay, it's unregistered, that's fine, that means it's not gonna work right now, but we're gonna set up screen two, and it should work. So we go to screen two. That's a network, group network settings. Okay, put in the password. The main door station IP, like normal. Okay, go to save, it's saved, and now we go back to our screen one, our main screen for the flat two, and it should be registered now. So we go to extension settings, ah, oh, still unregistered. Okay, so we've done something wrong, let's go find out what we've done wrong. Let's go back to our, sometimes it can be a bit slow, but we'll go back here. Go to intercom, uh, group network settings, okay. Okay, so I think we put in the room, wrong room number two. Okay, so we go 
one, two, three. Ten to four. Okay, this hopefully should work now. I go back to screen number one. Into com, we can see our extension settings. Ah, unregistered still. Okay. Let's go back to our screen too, see if we can figure this out. Okay, it should be, oh no, no, it, should, it hasn't changed this to extension. Okay, so we go one here and go save. Okay, let's see if that's made a difference. Usually it does it automatically, so I don't think it has done this time. Network. Oh, we go, I mean, uh, extension. Oh, no, it says registered. Okay, so we see, we see how to flip it over from a normal screen to extend, making an extension screen. Okay, sometimes, yeah, get a little, it can be a little bit buggy, things like that, but um, you get there in the end. Uh, now we're going to flip over to our live view and test it out, see if it works. Okay then, so we're back to our live view now, and we have flat number one and two set up. Okay, I just uh, assigned the numbers as well under the door station, I forgot to do it, but um, on our previous video, you see how to do that, it's very easy. So we just made a number bu button one for number one, number two for number two. Because usually it will make this main doorbell, this is number one, and this is number two, but you can change that very easily. So okay, so flat number one, let's give it a ring, should be one screen. One screen ringing for flat number one, perfect. So flat number two, it's a lucky flat with two screens, so two screens should now ring at the same time. There we go. So that's how you configure two different flats with different quantities of screens. Uh, check us out on our next video. We're going to be adding a keypad, so you'll be able to log in with your keypad to get into the building. Okay, it's getting a bit more complicated, but now this is where the good stuff comes in. So hopefully see you in the next one, and thanks for watching. Bye.